Hello friends, welcome to the 71st session of Hybris tutorial. In this session guys, we are going to see another example of creating the custom promotion in Hybris. Guys, we have already created one video on the custom promotion where we had taken one example and we had created already a custom promotion on the card quantity. In case you have not watched that video, you can watch our video. The link of video is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner in the card section. So you can also watch that video and can see how we can create a custom promotion. In that video, guys, we had created this custom condition cart quantity right so in this video guys we will see another example of creating a custom promotion so guys this is a demo video in which we have explained the functional concepts related to the creation of the custom promotion in case you want to watch the full video in which we have explained the technical concepts of creating the custom promotion like how we can create a custom promotion what all code changes we need to do to create a custom promotion you can watch our full video so you can watch our full video by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can become our member then you will have access to this full technical video which is 59 minutes long and you will be having the access of this video as well so you just need to click on the link which is given in the comment section and you can also become our member and you can also get the access of this full technical video so before starting anything guys i want to show you one another sample example of custom promotion which we have created so guys in this example we have the requirement that we need to give a hundred percent discount on the customer cart if the delivery mode selected by customer is standard delivery so guys uh, i have brought up two servers up so there are the two servers which are up in my system in my local system right in the similar way guys you can see i am able to open the two storefront one storefront i have opened on port number 9022 and another storefront guys i have opened on the port number 9002 as you can see so on the port number 9022 uh, right so here i have already created one another example of custom promotion but in this uh, 9002 port hybrid setup i have not implemented it so once i will implement it i will show you that in this port right in this back office which is running on port number 9002 as well we will be able to view the example of custom promotion so guys here you can see if this is the requirement that i need to give a hundred percent discount on the customer cart if the delivery mode selected by a customer is any xyz like for example standard delivery so guys if you see out of box promotion module right here you can see we don't have any available condition which can fulfill our requirement which can fulfill our requirement that the delivery mode is standard delivery so we don't have any condition related to the standard delivery in the available conditions given to us by the hybris out of box it means guys we have to create one custom promotion which can fulfill this requirement right so how we can create such type of promotion that we are going to see in this video so guys before starting that i want to show you the demo example as i already told you that i have already done that setup or created this custom promotion on the port number 9022 here you can see guys i have already created one condition condition is delivery mode right so this is the condition delivery mode hybrid tube i have already created and by using this condition i have already created one promotion this is the promotion name hybrid tube custom promotion delivery mode right so i have used this delivery mode uh, condition over here and here i have mentioned that if the delivery mode is standard delivery right then i will be giving a hundred percent discount on the cart 
so you can see using this promotion i will be able to achieve this requirement that i want to give a hundred percent discount on the customer card if the delivery mode selected by the customer is standard delivery right so this is how i have achieved in this promotion but guys how i have created this promotion how i have created this custom condition right that i am going to show you in this video but before that let's see whether this promotion is working or not okay so here i have mentioned that if the delivery mode is right standard delivery then i will give get the 100 percent discount okay so what i am going to do guys this is my storefront okay i am going to add some item into the cart so you can see i am opening the pdp of one product i am going to add into into the cart then i am going to the checkout page right so you can see still uh, you can see we don't we are not getting any discount why we are not getting any discount reason is that still in the session the delivery mode is not the one which we have specified in the promotion okay so for that what i will do i will go to the checkout page guys so here i will just select one email id let's say i have selected this email id over here let's say uh this is the email id i have selected and i'm going to check out as a guest right so you can see still we are not getting any hundred percent discount so what i'm going to do i'm going to select a country i'm going to select the title right so the, i have selected the title and then i'm going to select the first name and last name address line one address line two city postal code and then guys i'm going to the next section right as soon as i'm going to the next section guys you can see by default the standard home delivery is selected and now i am getting a hundred percent discount only i have to pay the delivery cost but now i am getting the hundred percent discount so i hope guys now it is clear that this custom promotion which we have created this custom promotion is working don't worry guys in some time i will show you as well that how this custom promotion was created and implemented and guys such type of custom promotion you will be using very frequently or you will be creating very frequently in your projects as well so this video is going to be very informative for you so guys if you see over here guys like if i change the delivery mode let's say i change the delivery mode to premium delivery and in in this promotion you can see we are giving 100 percent discount on the cart only if the delivery mode is standard delivery right now i have changed the delivery mode to premium delivery and if i'm clicking on the next guys you will see that we will not be getting this discount so you can see i've just clicked on the next button and you can see now we are not getting the discount so i hope guys this is clear to you that this promotion is working but how we have created this promotion that now i am going to tell you what are the steps which i had followed to create this promotion right so for that guys this is the requirement of uh, this promotion custom promotion right and as you are already know guys promotions and vouchers are basically two promotions and vouchers are basically to are basically to improve the sale of products on your site on your site right and promotions are based on promotions are based on promotion engine promotion engine which is based on and promotion engine is based on rule engine right which is using rules library so rule engine is using rules library right guys and guys i have already uploaded the complete notes and the code files the code files using those i have created this custom promotion i have already uploaded on the google drive so you just have to click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also download the notes and the code files related to this video and you can also have this set up in your local system as well right so 
so this is the promotion promotions are based on promotion engine which is based on rule engine and rule engine is using that rules library right now how we can create this promotion so guys to create this promotion we have to follow some steps we have to create some uh, some classes which are all are those classes that we are going to discuss so guys first class which we have to create is the translator class okay so first class which we have to create is the translator class we will discuss what we will be doing in the translator class a uh, second uh, changes which we have to do is we have to add one more attribute add one more attribute into 